So you have three different axes that a character can move on. So if we take Larry, he has an X axis, a Y axis, and a Z axis. The X axis moves him side to side. So if I change that value, he'll move left or right. The Y axis moves him up and down. So if I change that value, he'll move up or down. Problem with the Z axis is when you make changes to it, you can't always see it on screen because we're looking straight ahead. So Larry's at a Z axis of 50. If I change that to be 100, there's very little change. Okay, that's because all that's happened is Larry's moved forward closer to the camera. But if I would have made him minus 100, he's now behind the curtain because he's gone backwards further into the stage. And the easiest way to see it is when you click the 3D view. With the 3D view, you can see everything on your stage and how they all are aligned with each other. So the table, for instance, has a Z axis of 100. Provided Larry is a value less than 100, then he will always move behind the table. If Larry has a value greater than 100, then he will always move in front of the table. And all you've got to do on your timeline is make sure that everything is in front or behind of the objects that it needs to be. I hope this has helped. If you need any more information, just send me a message and I'll do what I can to help. Thanks. See you soon.